Hi, my name is James Holroyd from Pocket Survey Surveying Software. Welcome to this short demonstration. I'm going to show you how the Fire Door Inspection software works and how to create your inspection reports quickly and easily in just a few minutes. If you're not already a Pocket Survey user, contact us to get your low cost trial, where you can get your first month's subscription at a reduced price. The first thing to mention about the app is that it's designed for mobile devices, but also works great on desktop computers. The button at the bottom left accesses all your reports, showing your building reports organised by town. So let's look at a fire door inspection I've already done to give you an overview of what comes out at the end. On the buildings list, I tap on a building and you'll see the front page photo and inspection status, and then below that you've got some buttons. We can add doors. We can copy the building information. There's a button to create the inspection report. And want to open the generated report. If we scroll down, you'll see the total cost of all the remedial works needed for the doors and which client this report belongs to. The inspection details section shows the inspector, inspection date, inspection time, the type of inspection, followed by some free format descriptive notes. The building details section shows more information about the building. Of course, the most essential part of the report is the doors section. You will see all the doors inspected if you click the view button, but you can add more doors using the add button. Finally, towards the end, you've got general building images such as floor plans, certificates and any image you want to add to your report. If you want to make changes to the inspection, select the edit button. Let's scroll back to the top of the building record. To create your PDF report, choose the create report button and when the report is ready, select the open report button. Let's look at a typical report in more detail. The front page is branded with your logo and your address. Then you've got your front photo of the building, plus an optional trade logo. Then you get an automatic table of contents, which is all hyperlinked, so you can jump to the different sections quickly. The report contains quite a lot of detailed information, all created as the click of a button. Then you've got an introduction page. Now all these phrases can be edited in the app, but we'll come to that later in the app setup. The overview section of the report shows inspection details, client details, building details. And if you're using the remedial works add-on feature, you can see the total cost of the remedial work for the doors in this building and you've got a breakdown of the status of all the doors. If you've enabled the additional information feature, you can capture a lot of general information about the building. All of this is configurable in the app setup. The Fire Door Action Plan section summarizes the doors needing replacement or remedial action. Then, for each door, detailed information covers description, status, compliances, non-compliances, actions, and notes. You can have up to eight photos for each door. If you've chosen the Works add-on feature, they will be listed below the photo. On the next page, you can see detailed specifications of the door. Optionally, you can have a separate page for all the extra details about the door. This is useful if you are part of an accreditation scheme such as BN Trader. Each door is shown in a similar format. Notice, rather than displaying the old-fashioned yes, no answers. We list out compliances, non-compliances, and actions. This is much more useful and easier to understand, and your client will love the format. Then you've got a fire door register. This is a summary of all the doors, showing the door status, door type, the location and the door reference. It's handy for them to see the general fire safety guidelines they should adhere to. Incidentally, sections in the report, such as explanation of terms, can be shown or not, depending on your preferences. You've got your disclaimer and limitations section. Bear in mind that all these phrases in your report can be set up within the app to customise it to your needs. The quality assurance statement will show the inspector's signature and if you've chosen to use quality checkers, then as well. At the end you have your four plans and any additional building images you've included in your report. If you want to save your PDF report, tap the download button to save it to your storage area. Let's close the PDF report and get back to the app. We can return to the buildings list by clicking the buildings icon at the bottom left. So let's start a new fire door inspection. Tap the add button at the bottom right of the buildings list screen. You'll see a scrollable form with several fields to fill in. Most of these will be user configurable menus to speed up data entry. First, you can choose a client, or if you want to, add a new one. Let's add a new client organization. Type my client, then tap use. Then you can either add a client contact name or pick an existing one. You can store other information about your client, which is helpful if you want to contact your clients on site. And so you have a little client database. Then we can choose the inspector. You can have different classes of inspectors, like more powerful administrators. You can also have a client login where a client can access their reports via a client portal. Choose an inspection date and an inspection time. 
and then add some inspection notes if you want to. The inspection status menu helps you track the workflow of your reports. We use a color coded pipeline approach where you go from schedule through to completed work. Remember, you can add this information on site or do it in the office if you prefer. Now let's add some building details. You have a place to add a building reference or you can use a report reference instead. Adding addresses is easy since Google will search for the address if you start typing it in. You can import addresses in bulk using the import feature within the app. The building name is used to identify different buildings at the same address. You can add an optional short description of the building. It's a good idea to allocate the report to a town, especially if you work nationwide. Your reports will look much better with photos and Pocket Survey makes this easy for you. So let's take a building photo. I'm going to choose one that I've already taken because I'm using a desktop computer, but you would snap this on site directly from your camera. That's the photo added to the front page of your report. You use a similar approach when taking door photos. When I have to choose save the building record, you'll notice it's prompting us to choose which inspection type to use since it's a mandatory field. Choose an appropriate inspection type, then save to add your report to the buildings list. Now we've set up the first part of the report. We can now inspect the doors in the building. Let's start with an easy door that's in satisfactory condition. So we'll tap into the building record to view it, and you'll see the information we've entered so far. What we're going to do now is add a door. We tap the Add Door button to load the scrollable data entry form. You should establish a location first, so you should choose a particular floor. And then, optionally, you can specify a room or area. You can tailor the list of locations to suit your needs in the app setup. Then, you choose the door reference. You can set this door reference list up yourself, but we've preloaded some references to make it easy. Then you can enter a door code. This door code can be a scan barcode or tag. Next, we add some information about the door type. We specify the door material and then enter the door size. We've organized the door size options so you can quickly enter whether it's a single or double leaf door, the size of the door and also the thickness. So that's the location of the door and some basic information entered. Then we get to the actual door condition. We've implemented a method of inspecting a door that makes it really quick. You have three choices to indicate the condition of a door. Complete replacement, need some attention and satisfactory. Let's do a satisfactory door first. Tap satisfactory and you'll notice an extra checklist opens up to show a list of compliances. You can look through these and tick all the relevant things relating to the door. You also can search the list to make it easier. For example, type seals and you will see the compliances relating to seals. This is a quick way of answering many yes or no questions in one go. You can enter more detailed notes if necessary. However, the checklist menu should be sufficient for most purposes. Let's take a photo. You can take up to eight photos per door. The app will automatically launch the camera on your mobile device. However, I'll pick one from my computer because I'm demonstrating the app on a desktop computer. You can also give it a caption from a list or type in your own text. You can take more photos and even draw on them to annotate them. So that's the first door done. Let's inspect and add another door, this time one that needs complete replacement. Let's choose our door again. The PS Cloud software remembers some options that you entered previously to speed up your data entry. So you should change the location, the door reference, and obviously the door code. The door type might also be different and the door material might be different too. So change what you need to. And now we're going to choose a door status that needs complete replacement. You'll see a checklist of possible non-compliance items. In other words, what's wrong with the door? You can choose items that you think are non-compliant. For speed of entry, you can search the list. For example, if you type in closers, all items containing the word closers are filtered. You can add free format notes if you wish. In addition to the non-compliances, you could specify what must be done to put it right. This will go down well with your clients since it gives them an excellent action plan in the report. So, in this case, I will choose an item that explains why a complete replacement door is needed. And then, optionally, you can give it the priority. And then take a photograph. So, as before, I'll pick a picture from my computer. Then you can add a caption if you wish. Consider taking a second or third photo that documents the door's status. So that's how you log an unsatisfactory door that needs complete replacement. So we've entered two doors so far. We're going to enter a final door. Let's go back into the building record. We're going to add a final door that needs some attention. We could add a door using the button at the top of the screen again. But if we scroll down, you'll see a list of all the doors you've entered so far. If this list is longer than five items, you'll need to click the view button to show all the doors in this building. You can add another door by choosing the little add button. We'll change the location this time to the first floor. We'll choose corridor. 
we change the door reference. Remember, the door code can be a barcode or RFID tag. We choose a different door type and change any other necessary details. This door will need some attention, which means it could be better, but some things are right with it. So if we scroll down, you'll see. We can enter compliances. In other words, what's good with the door. Choose the items you think are appropriate. However, the door closer may not be fully adequate, so we need to enter some non-compliances from the tick list, such as an inadequate closer. And also, the gaps should be narrower. You can add as many items as necessary. Add some free format notes if you wish. And then, as before, we can document an excellent action plan for your client. You tick actions that need implementing. Search for gap actions. Give your actions a priority. And then you take your photographs. I'll skip taking photos to keep the demo short. Now you'll see we've got three doors in this list. Let's go back to the buildings list. Once you've inspected all the doors in your building, you can now create your PDF reports. You tap into the building record and choose the more prominent create report button. You will be prompted to confirm. It takes about 30 or 60 seconds while the software generates the report in the background. You can continue to work on other inspections while you are waiting. The open report button will appear when your report is ready. We've covered the essential aspects of creating a fire door inspection report. As you've seen, it's quick and easy to do and produces a fantastic client report. But there's lots more to the software. For example, if your client wants a costy list of remedial works, you can use our costy works add-on feature. Another way you can enhance your fire door inspection report is to add extra door specifications to relevant doors. This isn't something everybody chooses to do, but sometimes it's useful if you're part of an accreditation scheme like BM Trother. Now, remember to get your low-cost trial if you're not already a Pocket Survey user, where you will get your first month's subscription at a vastly reduced price. Remember, there's no obligation to carry on your subscription after the trial month, and you've got access to the full software, including free training and support. If you don't like the software after that, that's no problem. Just let us know, and we won't bill you, and you can continue your search for a digital solution for your fire door inspections. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about any of our Pocket Survey apps, Please visit our website pocketsurvey.com where you'll see lots of information about all our building and inspection software. So that's the Pocket Survey Fire Door Inspection software in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this short demonstration. If you need more detail take a look at our longer training video. Bye for now and see you soon.